Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a few ways to download and install Cheat Engine without any worries of getting a virus. Now, the first and most important thing you need to understand is that Cheat Engine itself acts like a virus. It is a debugger that attaches to processes and it allows you to manipulate the code. That's kind of how a virus works. So Windows will detect that this software might not be safe for your computer. But because of the installation process for Cheat Engine, we might accidentally install some kind of bloatware. So you just have to navigate the installer safely. So the first step is to go to the official Cheat Engine website, cheatengine.org. I'll put a link in the description. And we're gonna click this big button that says download Cheat Engine. And we're gonna download the Cheat Engine application. At this point, if you try to download this program and Windows automatically deletes it. So what you have to do is go to your start menu, type in Windows Defender Firewall and select the option to turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. And we're just gonna turn off Windows Defender and click OK. And the reason we're doing this is because Windows Defender Firewall will help prevent hackers and malicious software from gaining access to your PC. Um, so this just deletes the software automatically when we try to download it. This is just turning it off. So now when we download it, it's going to be where we put it without it getting deleted. And then we can run it and that will let us install it as well. After we've installed it, we'll go back to Windows Defender and we'll turn our firewall back on. So double click on the Cheat Engine installer, click yes, click yes, choose your language. And there we have the beginning of the Cheat Engine installer. Click next. And here's the part where people can accidentally download a virus. Right here is a promotional offer for McAfee Web Advisor. This is some software that's going to install itself on your computer and you don't really know what it is or what it does. Uh, it just says it's your trusty companion to help keep you safe from threats online. So this is just gonna like hijack your web browser and start doing stuff to it. Like it might not be a virus, but it'll just feel really annoying and it will also probably be hard to remove. So um, what you can do is either click on decline, which is gonna show you another offer, or you can click skip all. And there we didn't download any additional software by accident. And here we have the final page of the installation. The installation is complete. We can launch the application on exit just so we can see it works and click finish. If you get this window that pops up, you can just close it. And now we have Cheat Engine installed. And now we go back into our Windows Defender Firewall and pick turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. And we just turn it on and on, click OK. And now it's back on and we can run Cheat Engine without Windows thinking that it's malicious software. Another way to download Cheat Engine is to go to the developer's Patreon page for a monthly subscription or even just pay once so you can get the download. You can download an installer that doesn't have ads like the one on their homepage. And I'll put a link for this Patreon as well. And finally, if you want the most secure and free way to download Cheat Engine, you can go to the Cheat Engine GitHub page and download the source and compile it on your system. To do this, you're gonna have to follow some very strict instructions. And these instructions are laid out to you on the GitHub page, but I'm gonna show you how to do it step-by-step step in this video as well. So step one, download Lazarus 2.2.2. Here's the link. And we click Lazarus 2.2.2. And it says, first install Lazarus 2.2.2 FPC 322 Win64, and then Lazarus 2.2.2 FPC 322 iCross 386. So there's two files we need to download. It tells us to download both of those. So first we're gonna run this one. And for this setup, we're gonna click next, 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 install. It should take about two to three minutes to install. Click finish. And then we're gonna run the other one. Click next and click install. And that one only takes about 20 seconds. Next, we're gonna open the Lazarus app and click start IDE. Next, we're gonna download the Cheat Engine source code. And within these files, there's a project file 
that we need to open with Lazarus. So we'll just go to Cheat Engine 7.5, click on releases, scroll down to the bottom and select source code zip and save it. So this file is a RAR archive file. So we need to unarchive it. Most people will use WinRAR and this just opens the archive so we can click and drag the actual files into our folder and it's gonna extract it. I'll put a link for WinRAR as well. It's just an application that lets you extract from these files. So now that we have the source code, we're gonna go into Lazarus. We'll go to the top menu where it says project and we're gonna select open project. Go to the source code folder that we just extracted, go into it and then go into the cheat engine folder and scroll down until you see this file that just says cheat engine. This is a Lazarus project information file and click open. Next in Lazarus, we're gonna click run, compile many modes. And we're just gonna deselect all of them, but the top three, we can see in the instructions, it says tip select first three compile modes. So we're just gonna do that. Here are the first three compile modes and click okay. Now we're gonna get a bunch of stuff at the bottom of the screen. That is the project compiling and building the application. Once it's complete, you should get this green bar that says success, as well as a pop-up that says success, selected three modes were successfully compiled and we click okay. Now it doesn't make it entirely clear where the file ends up. If we go back into our source code folder and go to cheat engine and then bin, this is where we'll find our three builds. Most people are gonna use the 64-bit version, so we'll just right-click Cheat Engine 8664 and run as admin and click yes. And now we have compiled Cheat Engine from source without using the installer that has ads on it and without having to pay for it on Patreon. And now we can start cheating in all our favorite games. If you're new to Cheat Engine, I recommend you check out my beginner's tutorial for how to get started with Cheat Engine. I'll put that in the description as well. And if you aren't all that new to Cheat Engine and you wanna learn how to save cheat tables, which means finding pointers, using scripts, I have a video for that as well. If this video helped you, please like the video and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you.